This is the Hill HX-50, the world's first fully private helicopter. Set up by Dr. Jason Hill, an engineer and keen helicopter pilot, the company was established with a lofty goal, that of building the world's first truly ground-up helicopter since the invention of rotorcraft flight. The company's first proposed model is the HX-50, an undeniably good-looking machine that offers both outstanding luxury and incredible performance. Unlike helicopters designed for fleet operators, the HX-50 is specifically crafted for private owners seeking a personalized flying experience. Each owner is invited to Hill's UK factory, where they collaborate with a team of engineers to build their dream helicopter with the option to assemble up to 51% of the aircraft under professional supervision. The HX-50 combines customization with impressive performance. It features a three-blade rotor system and a powerful in-house GT-50 turboshaft engine, delivering 400 horsepower, a cruise speed of 140 knots, and a range of up to 700 nautical miles. But can this machine really sell for only $750,000? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Hill HX-50. Stepping inside, the cabin is designed to accommodate five passengers and offers a level of visibility that is stunning. The wide wraparound windows offer panoramic views to the passengers and measure approximately 48 inches or 120 centimeters in width and 36 inches or 90 centimeters in height. Options include in-seat electric heaters and air-conditioned seat ventilation, a refrigerated center console compartment beneath the armrest cushion, to chill drinks and snacks, and a power supply for each passenger's tablet computer with audio streamed directly to passenger headsets. The audio fully integrates with the digital cockpit and onboard audio system. Other options include a pilot operable folding blade system, a Helimove electric ground handling system, home-based secure wireless link to power hanger doors, skids or wheeled gear, and an emergency float system. Let's begin with the seating arrangement. The HX-50 features a 1 plus 4 seating configuration with a space between seats that measures approximately 21 inches or 53 centimeters, offering ample room for each occupant. Seats are covered in premium leather with contrast stitching. Each passenger seat can support rear-facing, forward-facing, and booster seats for children. The materials used in the interior speak volumes about the attention to quality. The incorporation of materials like carbon fiber and brushed aluminum alongside the soft-touch leather provides a harmonious balance between durability and luxury. With a storage capacity of around 35 cubic feet or 1,000 liters, the helicopter offers enough room for golf bags, luggage, or even skiing equipment. Additional compartments in the form of overhead bins and pockets behind the seats offer space for smaller items like gadgets and personal documents. For amenities, the HX-50 features an excellent climate control system that maintains cabin temperature between 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, or 18 degrees Celsius and 24 degrees Celsius. Add to that the well-placed vents and air outlets, ensuring uniform temperature distribution throughout the cabin. A built-in entertainment system with speakers and Bluetooth connectivity further elevates the passenger experience. Now, let's talk about the cockpit. The avionics suite is a digital touchscreen wonderland that's also designed and manufactured in-house. Inspired by the automotive world, the main instrument panel is dominated by a sprawling 17-inch glass panel display, which serves as the primary interface for flight information, engine data, and navigation. There are also two giant 15.6-inch full-color dashes that can be set up in multiple modes depending on who's in the front seats, as well as a further large iPad in the middle plumbed into the GPS and standard two-axis autopilot systems so you can run all your favorite navigation apps and such. The seats are spaced about 21 inches or 53 centimeters apart and come with multi-way power adjustments. The digital cockpit display screens are intentionally positioned low so as to not obscure outside vision at an angle Hill describes as a little below 20 degrees for most people. A center console between the two front seats provides ample storage for beverage bottles and small snacks. Traditionalists might miss the analog gauges, but the clarity and crispness of the digital display easily outweigh the nostalgia. Color-coded indicators provide instant recognition of critical parameters, making it easier for the pilot to monitor all essential metrics at a glance. 
The avionics suite is nothing short of top tier incorporating cutting edge features such as synthetic vision technology, traffic advisory systems, and real-time weather radar. The GPS navigation system is highly reliable, offering multiple layers of data from terrain mapping to airspace restrictions. An integrated autopilot system facilitates a range of functionalities from basic level holding to more complex navigational tasks. Unlike traditional helicopters, which utilize a complex array of levers and pedals, the HX-50 simplifies flight controls. The cyclic and collective controls are designed with ergonomics in mind, reducing the physical strain on the pilot. A distinct feature is the force trim system, which minimizes inadvertent control inputs, giving the pilot a smoother, more controllable flight. Throttle controls are finely tuned for precise manipulation, giving the pilot the ability to make minute adjustments effortlessly. For effective communication, the HX-50 incorporates a dual-band radio system that allows seamless communication with air traffic control and other aircraft. Additionally, there's a Bluetooth-enabled entertainment system, complete with noise-canceling headphones. To support the extensive data generated and displayed, the HX-50 comes with ample data storage capabilities. Flight data monitoring and recording are highly streamlined, enabling easy post-flight analysis and diagnostics, which aids in more efficient maintenance and troubleshooting. And finally, the HX-50 doesn't cut corners in the safety department. Emergency procedures are simplified and Critical buttons like the one for auto rotation are well marked and easily accessible. The cockpit is designed with a crashworthy structure and fire suppression systems are in place to deal with unforeseen emergencies. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Hill HX50 is equipped with a three blade rotor system and an in-house GT50 turboshaft engine with a TBO of 5,000 hours good for 400 horsepower all day long and can deliver bursts of as much as 500 horsepower in an emergency situation for 30 seconds. This gives the helicopter a cruise speed of 140 knots and a range of up to 700 nautical miles, which is 805 miles or 1,300 kilometers. While the GT50 traces its origin in an industrial engine to provide low development risk, the design has been modified for the helicopter our fuel nozzles are actually removable from the outside of the engine so they can be changed and checked and modified, Hill said. The fuel manifolds can be accessed from the outside as well. The engine also uses air blast atomized fuel injectors for better efficiency and fewer emissions. Hill replaced the three-chamber combustor with an annular combustor to improve the size of the package and reduce weight. It also swapped the two-stage turbine with a single-stage model that is slightly higher loaded and optimized the secondary air system to improve cooling. Referencing the engine, Hill said his team began with performance targets, including the ability to carry five 210-pound or 96-kilogram passengers and their luggage, cruise for three hours, and hover out-of-ground effect at 10,000 feet MSL at ISA plus 15. That set the parameters for the engine, Hill said, adding he aims for the GT50 to produce 400 shaft horsepower max continuous, 440 shaft horsepower for five minutes, and 500 shaft horsepower for 30 seconds. That power provides enough margin to get pilots out of trouble, he said. Importantly, for private owners, the engine is fully electronically controlled, so the startup and shutdown procedures are entirely automated. It's hit a button and go. This also allows things like haptic feedback to be built into the controls, like a collective stick that stiffens up as you're approaching the power limits. The fuel bladders hold 175 US gallons or 660 liters and sit behind the rear cabin bulkhead and ahead of another bulkhead for the capacious luggage compartment. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,000 feet or 610 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 14,000 feet or 4,300 meters. Now let's talk about payload capabilities. The useful load for the HX-50 is set at 1,760 pounds or 800 kilograms. While the figure is certainly respectable, what's even more interesting is the full fuel payload, which stands at around 900 pounds or 408 kilograms. 
Now let's talk about the price. The base purchase price for a new Hill HX50 is 595,000 pounds or about $750,000 before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.